Matthias, you look totally different from those days when you were a student. Mm. You recently attended your graduation ceremony. Tell us a little bit about it. Um, it was very nice. It's a very formal, very special ceremony in the Chardonian Theatre. And um, my family came to visit. And it was a very, yeah, it's a big day for, for all of us. And um, both the, um, the reception at the college and then the um, ceremony at the Chardonian Theatre was, it's like the coronation of all these years that led up wow, to it. And coronation. <laughs> <laughs> so that, yeah, it was a very nice day. Mm. Many, many congratulations on you. your PhD degree. And uh, I should call you Dr. Mang from now on. Why did you study for a PhD in physics at the University of Oxford? Because already during my undergraduate degree, I enjoyed doing research. So in my final year at the LMU Munich, mm -hmm. um, uh, I did a one year research project the diploma thesis and I enjoyed it very much and at that time I wasn't sure yet if I stayed in academia or in industry and I thought for both options it's attractive to have a PhD and also I wanted to do it um, as I was personally interested in doing uh, some further research and um, and of course I heard about Oxford before and I have friends who studied here and I knew about the college system and then I found a group that did exactly the kind of research I was interested in. And that's why then I applied and I ended up here finally. What was your PhD about? My PhD was, um, is, was about laser physics. Lasers of course, uh, you know from everyday life, from laser printers, laser pointers, barcode scanners. In the lab of course we have very big and sophisticated lasers and we try to um, so my purpose was about generating uh, pulses of, lasers, of laser light. So. Um, intense laser pulses essentially are very very short so uh, about the duration is about a millionth of a millionth of a millionth of a second so one at a second and um, so I, div I, I try to understand how to generate these pulses make it more efficient and then to, to measure them how do you measure something that is faster than any camera in the world mm. and why this is interesting is because you can use these short pulses of light to, to look at very fast events, like with the camera, with a very short exposure time. And the events that are that fast, of course, are only in the microscopic world, like chemical reactions. So you can make a, one of the goals is to make a real-time movie of a chemical reactions and see how the electrons and atoms redistribute. Mm. Well, you are from Germany. Did you have any culture shock at Oxford? Um, well, let's say I had a more than I initially expected. <laughs> I thought it's probably very similar to the rest of Europe or, or Germany, but, but um, well, the weather, the food, somehow the mentality of the people is, uh, is a bit different, just different, right? And, um, but no, I, I, after all these years, I, now I feel like home and it's, it's um, not easy to leave. <laughs> what job will you do afterwards? So I've now lined up a it's a kind of different subject now, it's an MBA, but it's, a, it's an MBA that is targeted for scientists and engineers after an advanced degree, so master's or PhD, which in my case is um, Trumpf, Trumpf lasers. Um, <coughs> they sponsor your degree as well. And uh, the school is, is, is um, based in, in Paris, but it's spread over also Germany and Italy, so it's a, it's a tri-national degree and I will have seminars all over Europe essentially. So it will be a very interesting period. Are you looking forward to study for your MBA in Paris? Yes, I think um, it will be very exciting because um, like in Oxford, I will be part of a very international community and you meet people with different backgrounds and from different countries. And also because I work in the company, I will already get the sense of a real job <laughs> in real life. So I think it will be a very intense but interesting year. Do you think uh, uh, your colleagues will be from all over the world? Your colleagues? Yeah, so I think they are recruiting from all over the world. I mean, it's a European degree or school, but um, people are coming from all over the world. Your experiences at Oxford will be extremely helpful because you have made 
many friends from all over the world, East Asia, Europe and America, and of course, British, Britain, yeah? That's right. That's actually one of the things I enjoyed most about Oxford is, is this, this active, vibrant student communi community with people from all over the world and different backgrounds. Because you're part of this college system, I don't only meet physicists, I meet all subjects. And that is really what, what um, broadens your horizon and makes you open for different fields and, and leads to many interesting discussions beyond just my area of expertise. Mm -hmm. What advice do you have for young people currently looking to study or work? I think it's um, very important to choose a subject where you're really passionate about because I think you can only be good at something if you're very motivated and really interested in it. Um, on the other hand, you should always have a look about what the future job prospects are and, uh, and if, it's, if it's really, really difficult find a job later than, but you really want to do it, then at least in a very early stage, I would recommend to do an internship somewhere or have courses in a different field to at least broaden your profile. So I've met people who are both interest-oriented and career-oriented. Um, so I think it's somehow you, you, find that you have to find a, find a balance between, between both. Yeah, I think uh, that's a really good advice. Uh, you know, uh, some people may think about um, getting a good salary right from the beginning, but I don't think uh, that's not the best strategy. So as you said, they can start uh, with an uh, internship. That's a really good idea. Yeah. And uh, they can expand uh, their experiences. Okay, apart from your research, what is the most memorable event for your student life? Um. Well, one very good thing about Oxford is really you can have a very good work-life balance because it, there's so, much, so, so many societies and it has so much to offer. And one of my main activities um, was dancing. So, um, um, very mem memorable was when I was um, practicing towards medals. So I did the bronze and silver medal. And, um, very good to have a goal besides work where you're passionate about and when, where you're motivated and you work towards that goal. I was also dancing with the university in the University Dance Block team and we had competitions all over the country, which was really, really a um, good experience because for some of the biggest com uh, competition was in Blackpool in a very nice venue and, and you, are, uh, you go there as a team and you support each other and again, people from all over the world and different subjects and it was really it's an interesting experience where everyone supports each other, but not uh, in a work-related environment. It's, it gives a very good balance between work and life, and this I will always remember. I hope you will keep dancing in Paris and Germany. Yeah, I hope so too. <laughs> yeah? I will try to, mm. to uh, keep this. My nice. last question is, is there any reason why you decided to work for a company rather than pursue an academic career? I mean, I enjoyed doing research uh, very much and I've been at university now for uh, several years. But on the long-term scale, I decided for myself that I want to do something that has, it's, well, let's say, more relevant to society and where I can make a difference in society. Because in my if in the end um, only 10 people in the world understand what you're really doing, I mean, that's okay. I mean, for me, it's okay for to, for doing a different, let's say. But on the long-term scale, I want to do something where I can apply my expertise in a, on real problems in the, like, uh, relevant for society. Um, and that's why I, I think I can make the most out of this in, in an industrial environment. Okay, thank you very much for being with us. Uh, yeah, thank you. Good luck. Thank you very much.